I'm getting ready to plan into this mini hugel mound. Uh, this mound is going to be dedicated to growing foods for my tortoise. One thing I've always been curious about is inoculating seeds. From what I've read, you can inoculate legume seeds with a certain type of bacteria. That bacteria will help penetrate the seed and help form nitrogen fixing nodules on the roots. What I'm wondering is inoculating seeds only something that you can do with legumes? Could I inoculate a seed that's not a legume and get some kind of added benefit? I'm going to test that out. Here at the bottom of this container I've got some worm castings that I've harvested from my worm bin. Those are supposedly full of bacteria and I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll take the seeds that I'm going to plant and before I plant them I'm going to take some castings and uh, rub it all over the seeds and then drop that in the hole. Here's what I'll be planting. I've got beets. I'll be harvesting the tops of those for the tortoise. I got this beet just for fun just to see if the roots really get that big. Dandelion, mustard, and collards. All the seeds are planted. Everything from this half on this direction is inoculated. Everything on this half that way is not. So I'll keep an eye out on these plants once they come up to see if there's any difference between the ones on this side. This is the west side, that's the east side. Where I'm standing it's the south side that gets the sun. I did orient these to where the smallest plants were in this side and the largest plants were in the back side so nothing's shading out anything else. It did take a lot longer to plant the seeds because I had to roll them all in that worm poop. If I see that there's some kind of difference later on I think it'll be worth it. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.